Hey guys, Ranch Boss here. Some more paranormal activity here on the ranch, and I'm gonna tell you about what's happened the last 18 this hours. This is a little sign that we have up by our front gate. Here lies the last man left the gate open. And this is just a friendly reminder to everyone, please don't ever leave the gate open. But uh, right here, by the front of the ranch, is actually Cemetery Road, right here. And uh, let's go on down to the cemetery and continue on with this story. So last night, we get a call about eight o'clock and we just set up a new hunting blind down here close to cemetery. And uh, I've got the a couple of guides coming out here to pick a hog up. And right as they get to this corner, something happened to the Jeep that had happened to some other Jeeps three and four, maybe five years ago, and it hasn't happened in a few years, but let me ride along with you and show you what happened here. So two guides are approaching this spot to pick up a hog that was shot out of our newly placed cemetery blind, and as they make this left turn, they're approaching the blind, and they're approaching the cemetery, the lights on their Jeep, which I just had installed this summer, started intermittently blinking on and off in a rapid, crazy kind of way. And they had heard some stories before they had gotten here of this very thing happening. So this morning, they reported it right away that it's happened again. And uh, you're I'm taking you along on the ride here just to show you the proximity of where it started happening and the graveyard. The graveyard is right around this bend. All right, here's the graveyard right here. This is the graveyard and best we can tell, this is where some of the people that used to live and work on this ranch were buried. There's at least 25 graves that we know of and this is the only known person that we were able to find and this was actually dug up out of the ground and this epitaph it took us a while to figure out what it says but this guy's name was Nash Perry and he died or he was born December 11th 1872 uh, and he died July 1 1902 and we were able to decipher this uh, epitaph and what it says it says, friends and strangers, pass me by. You are now as once was I. I am now, soon you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. And this guy's name was Nash Perry. So all the crazy paranormal activity that goes on, we blame it on Nash. So this is the graveyard. So in our great wisdom, we decided to set up a hunting blind right here. And we did this because we have never hunted this part of the ranch ever up until just just now just in the last few months or not even that last 30 days and we set this blind up because every now and then when we'd be riding around at night there are always hogs everywhere up here so we set this blind up and guess what hundred percent success so last night we shot about a 125 pound hog from this spot and this is kind of what he's looking over. We need to get in here at the chainsaw and kind of clear out some of this brush. So that's why they were here last night is they were here to pick up the hog that was shot just past that little brush right there. So they uh, take the hog back, they get it cut up, put away and I get another report this morning that one of my staff members went on to bed after this had happened and uh, as she was laying in bed she left the bathroom light on and her bedroom door was closed and she noticed she was in in the, in the house by herself she could hear uh, rapid walking footprints going right past her bedroom door she could see the light underneath the door from the bathroom light she had left on and these footprints went right into the bathroom and turn the lights off, turn the light off. 
she was freaked out. She's the only one in the house, doors locked. And she gets up, she told me this morning that she was so afraid she was frozen in bed. So this morning when she got up, she went and checked the light switch and in fact, that light switch had been turned off. And this all happened in the same evening from the lights blinking on the Jeep to a light actually being turned off in the house. So, I'm, I'm not going to try to interpret any of this story. I'm just going to tell you what happened. But if you want a spot that, as of this filming, is hitting 100% success, just rec request the uh, graveyard blind. And that's the graveyard on the other side of that little road. And uh, if you have anything that happens while you're hunting, we'd sure like to know about it. We're trying to keep track of this stuff.